Good morning, FS traders. Uh, today we want to discuss uh, how to avoid uh, trading uh, FS uh, blindly. All right, have you been trading uh, FS blindly? All right, the good news is that you should trade FS with your eyes wide open uh, without uh, blinking. All right, so how to avoid uh, trading uh, FS uh, blindly? FS stands for foreign exchange. All right. I have here the British pound Canadian dollar. For new traders, it's quite difficult, quite challenging to trade the British pound Canadian dollar. Your broker may ask you for a bigger stop loss. And if you are a new trader, you may skip this okay, uh, currency pair. I'm not saying to new trader to skip this video. You may watch this video if you are a new trader, but uh, it's better to trade easier currency pair. The subject that we are discussing here is suitable to all traders from different levels, whether you are a new FS trader or experienced FS trader or skillful FS trader. All right. How to avoid trading FS blindly? All right. When I start trading first, I wonder sometimes, so you may notice that the stochastic may be overbought. And or you may see a bearish trading setup, but then the price will go continue to go up and reach a specific key level before changing direction. But as a new trader, probably you have already entered the trade somewhere here, and uh, as the price continues to go up to a specific key level, you are already taken out of the train and you start crying or getting emotional before, okay, you see the price doing exactly what you were doing. And I always wonder why they couldn't sell it straight away here. And this is a market manipulation. Why the price has to go all the way up here? Why they have to take everybody out of the train before the price start going down? All right. Or sometimes you may see that uh, your momentum oscillator may be oversold and you want to buy at this price. But the price will continue to go down to a specific support level before the price will change direction and do exactly what you are expecting here. But by that time, you are already taken out of your train and you may be wondering what's going on in this financial market, what's going on in the FS market. The reason why we get into that kind of situation is because we are trading FS blindly. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to avoid trading FS blindly. And I will use the British pound Canadian dollar to illustrate okay, uh, what I'm talking about here. All right. So one thing you need to understand is that the price is always going to a specific uh, price level. This is how okay, the big financial institutions, the hedge funds, are trading. So if they want to buy, they will buy at a specific price. So you can see here, they bought this currency pair in a zone of 15157, which year, okay, in 2010, they bought it there. In 2011, they bought it again in the same zone, 15157. In 2013, they bought it again in the same zone. What's going on? All right. If you look again, if I move my line here, the price level we are looking at is uh, 18402. So they sold it there. You see the price went out, they sold it, it went down. Price went above it, they sold it back down. So they are selling in a zone of uh, 18402. Here you can see that the price start going down from 2013 bullishly. It reaches that level, they all take their profit and come out quickly before the price found a support above it, before they bought it again. So they are buying at a specific price level. Those professional traders do not trade FS blindly. They trade at specific price and they make their decision at a specific price. They will also exit their trade, bullish trade, bearish trade, at a specific price level. All right. So there are places where you should enter your trade, you should buy, you should sell, you should look for bullish trading setup, bearish FS trading setup, around those key levels. If one is not trading around key levels, one is trading blindly. So avoid trading for us blindly. 
one should avoid one should tra uh, should avoid trading forex blindly. One should trade around key levels. So one more thing: why the price is finding a support here? You see here, they sold it out. Look at how they sold it here. Boom, down. And now we have a long tail, and the price is stuck here. Why? I have a good news. There is a reason why the price stopped right here. If you look carefully on this chart, the price form what? A round bottom. So went down and went back up. Okay? So if you agree, my friend, we can put another line here. You see the resistance I was telling you here, this zone here. This resistance before the price breaks above and come back down. If you highlight that level, that's where the price found a resistance here. Let's call it that into orange. It's a key level where professional were selling this uh, currency pair. Okay. Now the price break below that key level. Why is stop here? If the price form a round bottom, which in fact has started here, so from here down. Are you with me? From here, not here. It turn around. Okay, minus 180 degree to the same level 183.90. What usually take place, when a price form a round bottom, the professional will always <laughs> highlight which level? Watch it. The 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the round bottom. From this low to the neckline, where is the 50% level? Here it is. Is the line below here? You see here. That's the fifty percent. Can you see fifty percent Fibonacci retracement level? I'm going to color that line now into pink. That's the fifty percent Fibonacci retracement level of the round bottom. As the price start going down from the neckline, they are looking for which level? The fifty percent Fibonacci retracement level of the round bottom. So in order to avoid trading FS blindly, what should we do? We should know where are the key levels. There is one here at 16617. So you see, that's where they did take the profit right here. So if you are looking for bullish trading setup, bearish trading setup in the forest market to avoid trading FS blindly, look for your trading setup around key levels. Here, yeah, there was a key level here. They sold it here because they sold it here at a specific price level. They were buying around this zone here before around those key levels and the same level they bought it before in order to avoid trading fs blindly we want to know where are the key levels so now that we know this key level the 50 percent fibonacci retracement level which is a very important key level of uh, the 50 percent fibonacci retracement level of the round bottom we want to know where are the other key levels professional will also use the width or the height of the round bottom here it is. And then we project it above the neckline to set a target. So they have another key level right here at 21988. So we have it on our chart. We leave it there. We don't move it. We don't change it until one day the prior reaches those levels. As they set their profit target, they will also draw the media line, the, the midpoint target, so the ultimate target, 21988, midpoint target, somewhere in the zone of 20227. As the price breaks above the neckline and finally support, it did change direction around which key level? 20227. It makes sense? So to avoid trading FS, okay, uh, blindly, we want to trade around those key levels. And we want to know where are those key levels by using chart pattern, the target for the chart pattern, by using market geometry, and also by using Fibonacci extensions and Fibonacci retracement, we will be able to pinpoint even a hidden support and resistance levels. We will be able to identify all the key levels when we are using Fibonacci extension, Fibonacci retracement, all right here we have the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. If you are using market geometry, which is the projection of the channel, we are using chart pattern and the projection of uh, uh, the, tar the price target for the chart pattern. We will be able to pinpoint those key level, and we want to look for bullish and bearish chart pattern, bullish or bearish trading setup around those key level. 
Here we have a bullish trading sector. We will now use a top-down trading method to trade it. Whenever we see two key levels, we want always to know where is the media line. You don't have to draw it on your chart. So like now I have this level of 18390 and a level of 20227. Those are two essential key levels. But I want whenever I see two lines like this, I want to know where is the media line between those two lines. You can see that as the price bounce above the 18390, it rally up to read to retest uh, okay the media line or between the, this level of a 20227 and the level of a 18390 so it's not sufficient to know the key levels we want to know also the media line between the two key levels the media line between the two key support or resistance level is also another key level where we can look for high probability training setup as you can see on my chart here, the price has formed again what? A head and shoulder chart pattern. What is it? This is the head. And this is the left hand side shoulder. All right, you see now? So by using chart pattern, market geometry, Fibonacci extension, Fibonacci retracement levels, we can know where are the hidden key support and resistance level. So now you can see now that we have okay a head and shoulder chart pattern that is formed okay uh, around a key level. This is how we can trade FS. Uh, this is how we can avoid trading FS blindly. So now we have the invert the head and shoulder chart pattern in place. Professional again, you see we use the height of the round bottom to set a target up here. We will again measure, now we have a head and, a head and shoulder chart pattern. We measure the height of the head and shoulder chart pattern. Okay, so here it is. We use a conservative measurement from the top to this level here. And we can project it down below the neckline. And we can see that there is another key level here, which is a target level. So if the price D below the level of 16617, the next key level that we must watch is 15977. All right, it makes sense. It is also powerful. One can combine those key levels also to avoid trading FS blindly. We can also use trend lines. All right, very important trend lines will also help us to trade FS blindly. But what I want you to do is to focus on the intersection between the trend line and the key horizontal support and resistance level. Whenever you see a trend line crossing any key horizontal support and resistance level, those zones are usually hot spot a trading zone. If you have any question or suggestion, put in a comment section. And of course, I will be busy recording another video or to answer your specific question. Remember the trading drill, we are looking for a trading setup. Then we validate the trading setup. Then we implement a top-down trading method without violating the trading uh, triangle, whether we are day trading or swing uh, trading. We are the GSTW24 uh, traders talking about how to avoid trading FS uh, blindly. Happy trading to you all and speak to you uh, soon.